America, traditionally a maritime nation, mobilizes its mechanical and its industrial genius to build the largest fleet of cargo ships ever to sail the seven seas. The method is unique in all the annals of shipbuilding. Ordering prefabricated ready-made parts from some 500 factories scattered throughout the country, the yards apply mass production technique, and the results are breaking all records. Average time to build a ship during the First World War, 11 months. Record time, seven and one half months. Now they're completing them in 46 days. Hailing the victory of production, the nation celebrates Maritime Day with a mass decoration of merchant seamen. In New York, Mayor LaGuardia awards medals to men who have been victims of Axis submarines off the Atlantic coast. There's no downing the spirits of these brave sailormen. Torpedoed two and three times, they're ready to sail again. Victory ships, they call them now. And there they go, eager for the sea. Two vessels are being delivered every day. Three a day by the end of the year. Recently, in one 24-hour working day, 27 brand new ships slid down the waves. Nowhere else in all the world is such production possible. The goal for 1943, 23 million tons of shipping. No sooner is one launched than they swing a new keel into place for another. Not a minute is wasted. Workmen working night and day, seven days a week, to produce the ships America's enormous war effort demands. The world has changed in many ways, but America remains a maritime nation. We depend upon great ships to transport much of our domestic raw material and international trade. We also rely consistently on sea power to support our military forces, as we did some 80 years ago and 80 years before that. Looking to the future, it is vital to maintain an American presence in the movement of domestic and international commerce. And to retain the capability of building ships and sailing them to the far horizons. Our nation must chart a new course, reinforcing our heritage as a great maritime power and supporting our international commerce interests. On this National Maritime Day, we salute our men and women who navigate those marine highways, as well as those who support the maritime industry and form a vital link in our nation's supply chain. For 90 years, Duluth has celebrated National Maritime Day. This is a tradition that we must continue even during a time of pandemic. So thank you to our seafaring merchant mariners for all that you do, for answering the call, for lifting up our economy, for strengthening our supply chain, and for making Duluth a great place to live, work, and play. We love looking out and seeing our beautiful working industrial port. Happy National Maritime Day. The service of remembrance recognizes the dedicated seafaring men and women of the U.S. Merchant Marine who have in the past and who continue to serve our nation. We especially pay honor and tribute to those who have died in years gone by and in our recent memory. So let us take this time to revere God who has made the seas gives us work to do on and by the water, and who has received the dearly departed in God's arms of mercy. Hear these words from the pilot's psalm. The Lord is my pilot, I shall not drift. He guides me across the dark waters. He steers me in deep channels. He keeps my log. He pilots me by the star of holiness for his name's sake. Yea, though I sail mid the fenders and tempests of life, I shall dread no danger, for he is near me. His love and care shelter me. He prepares a harbor before me in the homeland of eternity. 
He anoints the waves with oil. My ship rides calmly. Surely sunlight and starlight shall favor me on my voyages, and I will rest in the port of our Lord forever. Let us pray. We thank you, O God, for those whose labor we depend for necessities of life, for the seafarers and all who leave their home and communities to serve others, for all engaged in the shipping industry, and especially we remember those who have served on the waters of the world, who now rest in peace upon another shore. Amen. And now for the memorial tolling of the ship's bell. Four bells and all's well. Receive this benediction. May God, whose throne is set above the waters, be your guard and your guide now and forever. Amen. <laughs>